So we've spoken about the gradient of a line, or the slope, uh, the rise and run, and we realize that the gradient says something about the steepness of a line, and that is important. Yeah? So we are graphing, and the gradient is the steepness. So the steeper the line, the higher the gradient. Okay, so this line will have a higher gradient or a bigger gradient compared to that line because it's steeper. Yeah, um, lines that go up have a positive gradient. Yeah, if you go one step to the right, how many steps do you go up? But lines that go down, for instance, this line will have a negative gradient because if you go one step to the right, you go a negative amount of steps up. Yeah, you're actually going down. Okay, so make sure you've seen my previous videos before you continue now. Because the questions you will get, and they become relatively easy if you understand um, gradient, is now you have to calculate the gradient, and they only give you two coordinates. Yeah, so calculate the gradient of the line that goes through the following two coordinates A, 3, and 5, B, 6, and 14. Okay. Now that looks perhaps a little bit scary, but it isn't. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to show you what you have to do, and hopefully you understand so you can do it yourself. I've rewritten the question here, well partially anyway, these are the two coordinates, and I've got to find the gradient of, gradient of the line going through these two coordinates. And especially in the beginning, it's really useful to quickly, quickly plot the line, just a sketch. Yeah? So I drew some axes here, A is 3, 5, so that is about here. Yeah. I'll just put 3, 5 over there, and B, that's a comma, B is 6, 14, so 6, 14. All right. Now, this is really just a sketch. And why am I doing that? Because when I sketch my line, I can already say a very important, or I can already make a very important conclusion. Because looking at this line, yeah, which is roughly the line yeah, we are dealing with, what can I say about the gradient? I can say it's positive. Yeah? I already know I'm looking for a positive gradient. Okay, now turn this into um, a right angle triangle, sorry. A right angle triangle, yeah? especially in the beginning. Later you don't have to do this anymore because you understand. But for now, let's turn this into a right angle triangle. Okay, now how many steps or how long is this side? Yeah. Well, the x-coordinate of A is 3, and the x-coordinate of B is 6. So this starts at 3 and finishes at 6. So those are 3 steps, yeah? from 3 to 6. Okay. And how many steps does it go up from A to B? Well, the y-coordinate of A is 5, and the y-coordinate of B is 14. So he is going, how many steps up? From 5 to 14, 9 steps up. Okay, now the gradient is, if you go one step to the right, how many steps do you go up? That is, if you like, the definition of the gradient, yeah? So if he goes three steps to the right and nine up, that means that the gradient is going to be nine divided by 3. So the answer is 3. Again, the gradient is one step to the right. How many steps do you go up? Well, he goes nine steps up in three steps to the right. So I got to divide that nine by three to find out how many steps he goes up in one step to the right. Okay, so I've been looking at my graph and I can already know that my gradient is 3. And I expected a positive gradient. But if you don't want to graph or sketch these graphs all the time, and you don't have to soon, I'll show you how to properly calculate it. Let's just copy that question. 3, 5, and B is 6, 14. Now you have seen that the gradient basically are the amount of steps vertically divided by the amount of steps horizontally. Yeah. So you could say that the gradient of a line is the difference, uh, the amount of steps, the difference in the y direction, yeah, direction, I just put it like that, divided by 
the amount of steps to the right. So that's the difference in the x direction. Difference in the x direction. Okay, now those are a lot of words, yeah? You probably can't even uh, read my handwriting. So you will find, especially if you go to uh, AS or A level, you'll see, uh, or, uh, or my mechanics, you'll see something like this, delta Y, delta X, yeah? Which, this is the capital D of the ancient Greeks, yeah? delta meaning difference, yeah? That's the symbol, the difference in the Y direction divided by the difference in the X direction, okay? And how do I calculate that? Well, how far did he go up? Then I take this y coordinate and I subtract that y coordinate. Yeah, so your book is probably going to say, well, you do y2 minus y1, and then you divide that, and how far does he travel in the x direction? Well, that is x2 minus x1. But that looks a little bit complicated. Yeah, if you sketch it, you see it travels nine in the y direction. And why is that nine? Because 14 minus five divided by six minus three. So that is nine divided by three. The answer is three. So when you're asked to calculate the gradient of a line going through two coordinates, yeah, it is always a good idea to quickly sketch it. Then you know, am I looking for a positive or negative gradient? All right. But to calculate it, you take the y coordinate of B minus the y coordinate of A. Why is that? Because you want to find out how far it travels vertically. You divide that by the x coordinate of B subtracted by the x coordinate of A. Because you have to divide it by how far he traveled horizontally. Because then you'll find out that if you would go one step to the right, you'll go, in this case, three steps up, which is the gradient. Okay, continue to my next video for some more examples. All the best.